So recently in Dragon Ball Super Episode 127, we got a little bit of exposition finally of one of Dragon Ball Super's main characters, not main characters, but one of Dragon Ball Super's main characters that people talk about the most when people are talking about Dragon Ball Super. And that is none other, of course, than the last remaining fighter of Universe 11, Jiren the Grey. And Jiren was first shown up in promotional info and teasers of the next arc uh, months ago uh, when he was shown during the exhibition matches, the preliminaries for the Tournament of Power arc. Uh, he was shown and then later in the actual arc itself, he was then changed to Topo as we know currently today. But at first he was shown and a couple of promotional stuff for this arc and then he randomly just got thrown in the background and there's not there wasn't a whole lot to go off with Jiren other than other than he was just a very mysterious character and we didn't know much about him and after the whole fight with Topo versus Goku uh, the first ever fight that they ever did uh, in the series of course uh, in the preliminaries <clears throat> it was said that Jiren was supposedly stronger than Topo and of course we didn't realize that but it was essentially yes then confirmed because Topo himself said that like yeah this guy is stronger than me and you're gonna have to deal with him in the tournament and we didn't know uh, we obviously didn't know how much stronger he was and we didn't see much about him until I want to say around like maybe episode like 89 ish I don't really remember when you first like actually saw like what he looked like but we did finally eventually see him and to me he didn't really seem like much and even then when the tournament first started he didn't really seem like much either and honestly he kind of just seemed like kind of a bad character he, he kind of just seemed like a bad character throughout all the tournament of power the whole tournament that's actually happening still uh, he just seemed like a very bad character, and I didn't really like him all too much to honestly really begin with. I was excited for him initially because there was some mystery to him, and he did seem like kind of cool, but he just didn't have anything really going for him to build interest mainly just because he kind of just like stood around not really doing anything, and he didn't have a lot of dialogue initially to begin with. And some of the stuff that we did see from Jiren was, yeah, admittedly really cool, but it almost just seemed like he was overpowered just to be overpowered. And then, of course, after the Ultra Instinct Goku fight versus Jiren, it just added in even more that he was ridiculously overpowered just to be overpowered. And that's what a lot of people were getting the gist of from Jiren, that he was just, he, he was just a plot device. He was a plot device... Uh, in this tournament just to be stronger than Goku and Vegeta just because you know just because they need a strong character for this arc and finally in Dragon Ball Super episode 127 we finally got some exposition and character development I guess you can say for Jiren and a lot of people seem to not really like it all too much but some people actually do think that it's okay and it's actually not in coherently bad you know it's not coherently the worst backstory that we have for a character if anything it's very cliche and it seems almost very similar to a lot of characters backstory in Naruto if you really think about it so it's not the worst backstory that I've seen for a character because like I said it is very similar to Naruto and I love Naruto as a series I review Boruto I, I review Boruto's episodes weekly uh, at least I try to do them weekly um, on the channel as you can see if you go and look at my other videos I do like the series and it, it's not coherently bad like I said it's not the worst backstory I've ever heard for a character it's very similar to a lot of other characters from different anime but for someone as as strong and ridiculous as Jiren, some people kind of just expected something better. And overall, after episode 127, it didn't make me like Jiren all that much more. And it didn't make me hate him even more as well. But at the same time, I didn't I didn't hate him or like him less because of 
the exposition that we did get for this character. If anything, well, honestly, I, I don't really hate him as much as I did before. If anything, I'm kind of neutral on Jiren's character because we finally have something, something that has to do with his character. Someone uh, actually did an edit on Jiren's exposition, his backstory, and kind of put it in a better area of the arc that it would have better suited to have it happen because i think the reason why a lot of people didn't really like his backstory is because it kind of feels rushed it kind of feels rushed because of how cliche it is and i kind of agree i kind of agree that it is rushed and it went they went with something kind of similar to, to other and other shonen anime do and it's cliche it's very cliche and I guess it just all depends on where they should have introduced his backstory because we're very close to the end of the term of the power and the end of Dragon Ball Super. So to have this character development and backstory for, for Jiren now on episode 127 when Super is literally going to end in a couple weeks, it just wasn't very smart for Toei to do that. And if anything, that's just very poor writing it's very poor writing and bad decisions that they made to finally give us this character development that people have been asking for for months and we didn't we didn't get it we didn't get it and it's unfortunate if that had happened much sooner i feel like eventually people would have you know you know like gotten over it like how cliche it is and would have actually accepted it in the end but right now people are very angry people aren't very accepting of this backstory for Jiren who's who almost just seems ridiculously overpowered just to be overpowered but he does have motives he sees strength as as absolute he thinks strength is absolute and that's the only thing that matters but it does seem like Jiren is becoming wanting to become more stronger because of obviously because of the loss of his parents and you know the loss of his friends after uh the evildoer that first showed up and killed his parents you know attacked him killed a whole bunch of his friends and his master and then after that all of his friends abandoned him and he had then decided that you know it was solitude and after the experience of solitude and loneliness that he got he realized that in order to not be able to lose those he's closest to strength was absolute and that's all he needed to care about so that way he can never so he can prevent that will never happen again dragon ball is deep dragon ball can be deep deep in a lot of places and a lot of different meanings as well but i guess that all just means on how you interpret it i that's how i interpret it i guess uh it's kind of kind of similar to <laughs> geekdom and how he interpret it that's honestly kind of where i kind of see it because I did watch his video and I did agree with it. I did agree with it. I feel like that's kind of like what he's going in terms of motives. Uh, we still don't know what, we still don't know what his wish is. Uh, probably won't figure it out because it's almost the end of the series. So yeah. So Jiren's character overall is okay. It's okay. It's not amazing as some people might think, but it's also not it's not utter trash as well but Jiren is like kind of okay he's in a okay stance in my eyes but overall the handling of his character could have been treated a lot better and maybe next time in the next series or movie or whatever they're gonna do they're gonna handle his character a lot better so that's all I really wanted to say in this video. I just wanted to get this video out really quick and honestly do something different because honestly on, on my channel, I don't do a lot of different things on the channel and I want to, I want to branch out. It's kind of just, I need to get into the groove of wanting to do it. You know, I have all these video ideas that I can do, but then it's just like, ah, oh, but someone's done it before me. So it's like, what's the point? But like, I want to get my ideals and my my thoughts and opinions out there on the internet that's probably different from most bigger youtubers and that's the only way i'll probably be able to grow so that's it i have nothing else really to add on top of the video so i'm going to go ahead and end it if you guys didn't enjoy be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you can never miss a new video in the future and i'll see you guys in the next one have a beautiful life
and I'll see you in the next one. Later.